<laughs> Hi, I'm Katherine Ewing, founder and chief inspirational officer of Reawaken Your Dreamer. This is where I, I do my work of helping people who are ready to make a difference in the world release the limiting energies that keep them from stepping fully into their soul purpose. You know, a few years ago I heard Barbara DeAngelis speak um, in Aspen and she had us repeat a phrase saying the time is now and I am ready and I wanted very much at that time I was repeating the phrase and I really believed it at the time and I think I was ready to do more work I wasn't quite ready to step up so I did my work I made some changes in my life I allowed some time for all of that to integrate and assimilate and so now I can really say the time is now and I am ready I am so excited and grateful for this opportunity to share my energy and my message, not only with you, but for all of the messengers who will be at the summit. So I know that there are a lot of people out in the world now talking about this very same thing, releasing the old energy, stepping into your soul purpose. And I would like to share with you why I believe I bring a very special energy and some very unique gifts into this conversation and this practice. I've been very fortunate over many years to have been able to work with leading teachers in the areas of sociology, psychology, energy psychology, metaphysics, spirituality, personal transformation, and coaching. So when I sit with a client or when I'm in front of an audience, I bring all of that to the table. I can help people understand what's going on within their own psychological process. I can help to put it into the context of a, a social or a cultural norm or expectation. I can help them quickly get to what are the sacred wounds, what has been part of their life experience that has led to the creation of limiting beliefs, limiting behaviors, and repeating patterns in their lives that are sabotaging or self-defeating. And once we've identified those patterns, then we get into the real heart of the work, and that is releasing with energy work, different tools and techniques, all of that's what's being held in the energy field. So we work at the cellular level to release and let go of all of those things that have been holding people back. All of us growing up have been wounded in some ways, even in the most loving of families, when we're told to be quiet or don't toot our own horn or that boys shouldn't show their emotions all the way through much more dysfunctional families right to abuse and neglect and abandonment. And so no matter how we've been brought up with loving, attentive parents or perhaps in really dysfunctional situations, we all have our own unique wounds. I love to help people follow the thread, look at the patterns, identify what those wounds are, and then see them as sacred and begin to use the lessons and the mastery of those wounds to step into really what their purpose is, to understand that those things that we have to overcome, that we have to surpass, are really laying the groundwork, the fertile ground to step into what it is that our soul chose to do in this lifetime. So there are a few things that I'd like to share with you about me that I think will help you to understand me a little bit better. The first is that I am an insatiable student and seeker. So I've spent the better part of my lifetime um, really trying to understand all things psychological, spiritual, metaphysical. So I have this incredible, uh, I call it a resource library, in my own mind that I just love to share with clients and with students. The other thing that I've come to um, be a little more accepting about in the last few years is that I'm just basically an impatient person. Now you would think with someone who's been trained in you know, spiritual peacemaking and ordained ministry and metaphysics and energy work and, and psychotherapy that I would have um, somehow developed more patience. Well, I have developed more, but I'm far from patient. I think that actually that works to my client's benefit, however, because I don't want them to be metaphorically laying on my couch for years. I've gone through many, many years of learning, many, many years of challenges, many, many years of frustration, watching people get it faster than I got it. Now I understand that that is specifically so that I can teach other people 
from all of the various tools and techniques that I've learned and help them move through their process much more quickly than I've had to move through mine. So I'm a seeker, I'm impatient, and I walk my talk. I've had to make many decisions throughout my life that caused me to step out in faith without really knowing what the end result was going to be. Some of those have been wonderful opportunities and others have been much more challenging. I absolutely believe, as I'm sure you do, that we are in an incredibly important time in our history. I believe that it's time for all of us, particularly those of us who feel a stirring, a yearning, a sense that we're supposed to be making a difference in the world, to really step up and step out and make a difference for humanity. I think it's incumbent upon us, if we feel that calling, to begin to step into our role more fully. So I'm here to help anyone who feels that yearning, who feels that calling, especially the messengers who are going to be here at this summit, to release whatever it is that might be holding them back, the fears, the limitations, the unconscious beliefs that they don't even know that they have, to really get down, get dirty, release them and let them go so that they can step more fully into the, the grand and magnificent messengers and leaders that they're meant to be. So again, I thank you so much for this opportunity. I look forward to seeing you all at the summit and many blessings.